Someone says you have a secret boyfriend. Wow! I next one is you're slowly planning to relocate to Cape Town. Hmm. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so so much for stopping by. I hope you join the family by clicking that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so so much. Boo! On this channel, we're going amazing items. I'll show you amazing things to do. I plug y'all and it's an overall lifestyle channel. Today I am going to be filming an assumptions about me video. So I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram as per usual, and I am here to answer them. First of all, like why is it so called in Joburg before we get into it? Why is it so called in Joburg? Like I'm not understanding. Anyway, I'm gonna be looking down because obviously as per usual. The questions are, I'll be reading the questions. So yeah, I am drinking white wine as per usual. Bit of the century for me. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First one is you keep to yourself and you stay in your lane. Um, I honestly think I do. Um, there's situations in the past that has made me become that type of a person and I find that there's more peace like when you just keep to yourself and just do you and just that not like worry about what other people are doing worry about what other people say about you just keep doing you and focusing and chasing your goals you have peace man and and that's just that's just what I want going forward for myself peace and nothing else like I'm, I'm not about to be chasing things that are unnecessary um honestly it's me and me and nothing else like it's me for i'm putting myself first which i always do and yeah i guess yeah i just guess i keep to myself and i keep to my lane and i just put myself first and that honestly brings peace for me so yeah i guess i would say i keep to myself so yeah, next my one is you got a car at a young age yes i did so i got my first car at 19 yeah i think the year after i finished high school because with me i started working at a very young age as well straight after high school i started working so remember i did say in my previous videos that i did an internship so hospitality in hospitality but hospitality the hours are a lot so the hours you start from like 6 a.m and finish at like to, which is good going home but i mean the starting of it like there's no transport really at that time and also there's late shifts where you knock off at like 10 p.m so the best thing for me was to get a car i mean i already had a license because i did my license already when i was in high school so i already sorry not my license my learners so i just needed to just go and get my license which i did i think i did my license yeah when i was 18 yeah yeah when i was just finished high school i think end of high school beginning of like my first year of working so yeah but i did i only got the car i think six months into working so i was using public transport obviously to get to and from work and luckily i didn't live far so yeah i got my first car at a young age um yeah this that one is, is you are true. kind and caring um i'd like to think so <laughs> i'd like to think so i'm a person who does sort of have sympathy and like empathy and i care for people um but i, I honestly only do things for people not not necessarily for people who do things for me but i i would go all out for you if you would do it for me because i mean if things are not reciprocated guys let's let's not lie to each other it's hella draining like it's hella draining like imagine i'm going out doing the most for you and you do nothing for me it's really draining so i honestly go out my out of my way to do the most for people who obviously care for me and whatever but in genu genuinely i'm a very caring person like if for example i see you stranded and you need help and i'm passing by i'll definitely like give you a hand if i can help you know it's that type of a thing so yeah i guess i am kind of caring. you don't like clubbing yo 
Let me take a sip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so clubbing. I think I overdid it. Yo, there was a point where in my life where listen, like yo, we would get just spume. Midnight after midnight, see now we're there, we're leaving, we're going to the club. I think I overdid it. I'm I'm just I'm so over it. Like and think the club doesn't excite me like anymore. Like tomorrow I'm gonna have a hangover and be tired as hell. Can't do anything. Like what was the use? I can drink at home in my place, my own come from my own home and smoke shisha. And I'm I'm literally spending half of what I would spend in the club also. And like I don't know, like a club for me is a thing of now like if I want to and I like crave it, that's when I'd go. If my friends are celebrating, if someone's celebrating a birthday, then that's when I would go. But just genuinely going to a going out, just clubbing, I nah not not me i'm a person who does a lot of like um activities and like things that would like stimulate you and all of that so i'm just getting distracted so yeah no clubbing is not for me like i'm, I'm so over it. okay I'm so next one is um you are going or went for surgery <laughs> i get this question a lot and it's because i post um and I go to the plastic surgeon. So yes, I do go to a plastic surgeon, but because I'm currently treating something, I'm not going to say what it is, but it's not cosmetic surgery or anything to do with my body. I had something removed and I'm going to the, the doctor every month for checkups and that and to see how the progress okay, is. Okay, next one. Um, you don't go out that often. Ah... Uh, I don't, yeah, lately I haven't been out that often because number one, my work schedule is a lot, which I appreciate because number one, it keeps me out of trouble and number two, I save money. <laughs> but yeah, because of my work schedule, number one. And number two, I, as I said, I've been out, oh, guys, I've been out like, yo, there's times when I would go to restaurants, yeah, I'm loyal at restaurants and yeah, I'm, I was that girl. I'm tired now. I'm tired. Like, I'm so tired. Like, I'm such a homebody. Also, since I moved out alone, I'm good. Like, I'm good in my own space. I'm such a homebody. There's things that I do here that I can do out. And I'm good. And I save money. So, yeah, I've also become very, like, cognizant of how much I spend. And because, yo, I you know I used to be a huge spender. And I don't need to do that anymore. Now, life is kicking in, guys. I'm 13, 4 years. <laughs> we need to now invest. We need to 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 plan our lives we need to save money so yeah i don't go out that much that often as i used to um, but i do go out. next you are a very private person who only tells what you want people to know yes 100 percent, 100 percent. that's me um i'm very private especially when it comes to my relationships number one i had a private about that and just my my family i i don't like just putting my family out there because i mean they're their own person so they might not want to be all over this all over youtube and whatever and it's okay so i honestly just keep that very private even my my if like my relationships my partner i keep I, that would keep very private so not yeah i'm a very private person and i only let out what i want you to know and yeah i'm good also peace 100 percent. anything to do with peace count me in for so, yeah next one is you do not take nonsense 100 percent yo i do not take nonsense at all like zero zero i'm that person who will fight you listen we will fight we will fight because i'm not going to take anyone's nonsense and the more you allow a person to disrespect you is the more that person will do more so if you don't like something from the get-go don't let it slide let it be known that i don't like this and going forward i don't want you to do it so don't take nonsense at all i mean uh, i do not allow any form of nonsense anything that i don't like i'm not allowing it. it's like we we are not even gonna go anywhere if i if if i tell you that i don't like it and you carry on i'm out like i'm not going to stay for any any sort of nonsense from anyone anyone next you kind of have this life thing figured out and that's probably why you glow this way yo babes i wish 
I wish. I really, yo, I wish. I honestly don't. I'm not going to lie. There's, there's a lot that I'm contemplating. There's a lot that I'm planning. There's a lot that I want to achieve still. So, yeah, I honestly don't have this life figured, life thing figured. I don't think anyone has, honestly. Um, I just think you can never stop elevating. And um, I haven't reached where I want to be yet at all. So, yeah, but we'll get there. We'll get there with manifestation, with prayer. We'll get there. Someone says you have a secret boyfriend. Wow! <laughs> I don't know it. I do not know. Secret boyfriend. No, guys. I mean, me, I don't keep things see a secret. I keep things private. There's a difference. A huge difference there. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um next one is you slowly planning to relocate to Cape Town. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Yeah, nah. I don't know, hey. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe life. Maybe you want this for me, babes, hey. <laughs> maybe Cape Town suits me, hey. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever comes, comes, eh. Like whatever comes, comes. Um, if I'm meant to move to Cape Town, I will move. You know, if it's God's plan for my life, um, I'm there so yeah manifestations yeah manifestations. this is the last one last one is you block people out i don't know i don't understand this this one really like block people out how like i'm gonna answer it the way i understand it so me i don't block people out i just i just don't let out that much and people think i'm like closed off and i'm not and even when i'm in in public like people think i have a bitch rest people say i have a bitch resting face people say i'm unapproachable and i'm i'm honestly a, like a very nice person when you approach me like very very nice person so i don't know i don't understand when you say like you block people out i don't i don't think i do i don't think i do um i'm a people's person i mean i work in the hospitality industry so yeah, I don't think I block people out. Um, next one is oh, not the next one. Sorry, I, need, I said last one. Okay, now it's the last, last one. Um, I didn't see this one. You speak when you're spoken to. I actually had this conversation with Ayanda. Ayanda is my neighbor. Uh, we filmed the relationship. I mean, the big sister advice video together. We spoke about this the other day. She says, I'm, I'm spoken, uh, I'm only spo speak when I'm spoken to. I don't know. I have a big mouth, guys, and I have, I have, I have an opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm not a person to just blab, which is true. Like, if, if you, if you ask me, if you're having a conversation and it's out there, then I'll chip in. But I'm not a person who will just start out and be like, yeah, guys, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten and i'm 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 there carrying the conversation no so yeah i honestly do think i honestly speak when i'm spoken to and yeah that that's a true assumption of so me. yeah guys we have reached the end thank you so so much for watching if you've reached the point of this video um i know this was short and sweet and thank you so so much to everyone who sent through their assumptions um i will definitely then see you on my next video please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys